Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be building Wi-Fi jammer from scratch. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. We are on road to 10K. So huge thanks to each and every one of you. And if you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and LinkedIn. And also if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. So guys, in this video, we will be building a Wi-Fi jammer. So Wi-Fi jammer is nothing but like uh, in Wi-Fi attacks, we do something called as a de-authentication attack. But if you don't know about the de-authentication attack and how the Wi-Fi uh, attacks work, so I leave the best video, one of my best video in the description. You can do check that out from there. So de-authentication in the sense like you try to target a network, a Wi-Fi network, and you try to disconnect every client from that network, like even without connecting to that, like even without connecting to that network. So this is what a de-authentication attack is. So in order to carry out the deauthentication attack, like uh, you need to have a Kali Linux, you need to have like uh, a Wi-Fi adapter, you need to have like so much, so you need to have a laptop or PC, you need to carry a lot of stuff. But this Wi-Fi jammer is like a small microchip, a, a kind of device which can be easily carryable. And you can do this attack from anywhere, like you can connect with to your phone and you can do this attack and you can do uh, really easily. Okay, so I'll show you what it is. And also all the links, I'll be mentioning so many links in the description. Uh, you can check that out from there. So the first one, we'll be using a module called as ESP8266. So it's like a Wi-Fi microchip. Okay, so Wi-Fi microchip, you all know, right? So what it's useful for, like it is produced by like uh, some systems. It is highly integrated chipset. So you can buy it. It's like pretty cheap, really, really cheap. So uh, this is the, this is where you can buy it. So Amazon, I think every country has Amazon, I guess. But if it is not available, like try to do your own research. Like you can see three of them cost like $13. Like you can even buy one. So if you go to, I'm showing this in Amazon.com. So this is for US. But if I go to Amazon.in and if I search for uh, ESP8266 because most of my viewers are from US or India, so I'm covering both. So you can see it costs like 450 rupees or it depends like sometimes uh, like in India it costs much. But if you take in US or anything like it costs like roughly $3. So you can buy from anywhere you can. Okay, so brands are all same. So these modules are almost same. So you can buy from any one of them. So it's your choice to where to buy from. So I leave the link for that and it's not an affiliate link. So you just buy from wherever you can. And also I already have this uh, uh, ESP8266 module with me. You can see that here. And also with this thing. So this is this has a micro USB uh, port open here. So you can have a micro USB cable. So not only small, I have a small one because it is easy to carry a small one, but you can always go and use like a big cable as well. No problem. But remember that this has a uh, micro USB cable. Uh, micro, it, it supports only micro USB cable. So if you have type C, it won't work. Okay. So now uh, after getting this thing, so it will take some time. So you can pause it or you can watch it afterwards. Okay. No issues or else you can watch it like how it works and sort of stuff. And also in order to uh, what we'll be doing is like we'll be flashing some sort of uh, uh, some a sort of like custom code onto this module so that we can uh, like uh, tune the functionality according to our needs. OK, so before that, you can do this on Windows, Linux. There is no uh, what you say, uh, lit lit mitigation or like no uh, requirements here. Like you can install it on anywhere. Before that, you need to have the requ uh, like drivers for this thing. So like for in order to connect to this thing, like, like for example, if you want to connect some sort of uh, an external sort of stuff to your PC, like you need to have some proper driver so that it works efficiently. Even for this, it requires uh, what you say, a driver. So where you can get this? So you can go to this link. So scilabs.com and uh, this thing, go to the downloads and download this Windows drivers thing. Okay, so just click on Windows downloads, uh, Windows drivers, sorry and you will get uh, this thing okay it's a zip file so you can download it from there and i already have this like windows i extracted it so, okay you will get this folder like cp210x windows underscore drivers go over there and here you have like two types of uh, files like x86 and x64 it's 2023 so i believe everyone has like 64 bit but uh, but if you are not sure just go to your about pc and you can check out whether your pc is like 64 bit or 32 bit so just run this 64 bit version. Okay. So I already installed this, but I'll install it once again. So next click on next click on. I accept next. It's like pretty thing. Like it's already installed. So it didn't took much time, but if you're installing it for the first time, it will take just small amount of time. 
okay so this is the second requirement so first you need to have a module then you need to install the drivers okay so drivers are also available for other operating systems like a uh, mac os and sort of stuff but i didn't test it out like you can test it out okay and now what you need uh, what you will be requiring is a flasher so you need to flash some sort of a custom code into this module so okay in this module you need to sort some sort of a flash a custom code so how to flash it there is a, a, a tool for that so this is the url for this thing so click on uh, like download this thing click on download zip file okay so you'll get a file like node uh, a node a node emcu uh, hyphen flasher hyphen master so download it and let's go there uh, so you'll have like few files here so even again you have like two types of uh, uh, folders here one for the 32 bit and one for the 64 bit again do check out your pc like i guess most of you may be having 64 bit but once check it before flashing so open this thing go to the releases and just open this uh, esp8266 flasher okay just open this thing no need to run as administrator whatsoever so here you have like com port so like ports like this is like a sort of port like a, a virtual port now what you need to do is like uh, connect uh, connect your uh, esp8266 module to your computer okay or pc or whatever it is so I'm just connecting it right now. I'm doing everything from scratch guys so that you guys can follow along. And now you need to open something called as a device manager. Okay. So I hope most of you guys may be having windows, but if not, uh, like you can try it out on VM, anything will work fine. And now we are in, you can go to the port section. So in device manager, like has a lot of drivers and like what are all the devices that are connected and sort of stuff. So go to the ports and you can see there is a, a thing called a silicon lab. So previously we downloaded a driver come something called as Scilab. So Scilab in the sense like silicon labs. Okay. So you can see the port is COM3. So now go back and you can see the COM port is like COM3 because like there may be different components connected to like different COM ports. Like if you try to flash it on the wrong thing, right, it will just mess up everything. Okay, so keep it aside and now we'll download the custom code. It's like a dot bin file. So go to the one more URL like dauthor.com. So I leave all the links in the description below. You can no need to worry about. Uh, click on download. Uh, click on bin. Like since we are downloading a bin file, uh, dh tag, uh, dh tag. Okay, and you can click on this USB dauthor and click on just download. Okay, so I'll show repeat once again and you can download this thing. Uh, I don't know why I did downloaded this thing. I'll delete it. So you will get this thing called as ESP8266 D author underscore 2.6.1 D S type USB D author version 2 bin. Okay. So I'll show you once again. Okay. Click on uh, because this is the step where most people go wrong. Okay. Uh, so this is how if you click on download, you'll be getting into this page. Click on binaries like dot bin file uh, D S type. So I tried with other stuff like uh, it didn't work for me. So D S type works for me. So USB D author. So click on this thing and click on just download and you will get this uh, dot bin file. Okay. Simple. That's simple. Now come back to your flasher. Go to the advanced. Okay. Like click this, this board rate. Like there is something called as like size. It will be by default to 23, uh, 2 lakh 30 thousand sort of stuff. Change it to 1 lakh 15 thousand 200 because uh, I tried with default value and it gave me some error. So like try uh, on your system. Like nothing will happen. Okay. Nothing will go wrong. No issues and go to the config. Okay. And click on this settings. Okay. And select the file. Okay. So by default, it will be something like path to binary. Click on this setting, uh, gear icon and uh, select your bin file where you downloaded it. Okay. So it, I don't know why the reason it showed me green, uh, red in the uh, past, but I'm not sure. So once check everything. So one, uh, one lakh 15,200. So this is the setting that worked for me, but you can try with others as well. No issues. Uh, change the config to the file, like the, which file you want to flash and go to the operation check the com port once again like i'm on com port uh, com3 okay so silicon labs okay so there are other you can see there are other ports as well like for bluetooth even if you try to flash them your bluetooth may go uh, like uh, nuts you know so just click on flash that's it after checking everything click on flash so yeah let's wait for some time it takes like 5 to 10 minutes and then it will work fine okay one eternity later uh, so guys, it took like five to 10 minutes, depending upon your CPU, like on your uh, processing power. So now you can see there is an icon, something like a uh, green color icon. So it means it's done properly. If you get red, like 
uh, reopen this uh, what you said this uh, flasher one second and try to change every setting possible and try to play with things sometimes this uh, uh, this size may be is an issue okay so try to play with uh, play with this it will work fine and also make sure you selected the proper bin file like um, uh, i got an error while i'm doing this for the first time i selected a wrong file and it gave me error so and click on i also select the proper com port so these are the errors that you will get basically so make sure you are doing it like in a smooth way okay no need to hurry up do it smoothly and you'll or else you'll waste some time okay so it is done now okay so now come back to the usage so here only you can come to the web interface so you can have a web interface so now you can disconnect this from your pc okay uh, now you can connect this uh, module to your power bank so i hope you know you all of you guys may have a power bank or you can connect with your phone uh, using some otg like you can do it anyway okay like you can connect to the pc once again or you can connect with your uh, what you say uh, your uh, uh, like mobile phone power bank whatever it is like give some sort of a power source for this module okay so if you give some source of a, uh, like some sort of a power source it works okay so that's the main concept here so now you can see how it works in the sense like once uh, like once it is properly installed right so when you connect it to a power source set you can see a wi-fi network named as pond okay p w n d uh, depends upon how you pronounce it and the password you need to connect to this wi-fi network okay it's a d author the wi-fi network is uh, then password is d author then you need to visit to this uh, url and uh, you can select the sort of stuff you can see everything is mentioned here like you can scan the ips you can add some targets over here uh, you can do some sort of like attack you can see an attack page where you can do sort of attacks and stuff okay so let's do this so let after flashing just remove it and connect it once again i'm connecting it to my pc itself so i don't want to connect to power bank or sort of stuff i don't know the reason i'm, up, uh, I'm not able to connect um, or else you can restart your wi-fi once you can see there is a network called as spawn and the sage of nine tails is my wi-fi name okay it already connected automatically but if it's not like the password is pw and uh, like d author the user uh, the use uh, like the wi-fi name is pw and and the password is d author okay you can change the password later okay so now uh, open this url 192.168.4.1 and you will get a page like this saying that uh, this is like a proof of concept for testing for the educational purpose okay so click on i have understood the above and here you have three pages like scan we are right now on the scan you can see there is only one host the problem with this module is like uh, it has like very less network range compared to that of pc like if i show if you open my pc settings like you can see there are so many wi-fi networks i can see here uh, but uh, here it has like small range that's what i observed like try to uh, like uh, uh, put it in a range su such that it can grasp the network okay properly okay now you can select some sort of network or whatever it is and uh, you can go to the attack attack page and you can see there is uh, you can see there is a target added one d authentication and eight beacons in the sense like uh, eight uh, what you say eight devices connected okay and you can click on start attack and it gets started so i'm not going to do this attack right now i'll be doing that in the next video okay so this video is only for setting up the, because this video is going to get really long okay so now you can go to the settings and you can see like uh, you can reset okay you can reboot okay you have like pretty much options you have like mac address you can have the ssi you can change the password you can even change the ip so a web interface is uh, do you want web interface or not these are all the settings like if you mess up something and if you feel like you did something wrong just click on reset so everything will come to the normal so that is it guys like how you can connect and the test whether you are able to properly uh, like check okay uh, whether the whether the installation is done properly or not so in the next video it is going to be a short video only i'll be uh, showing this attack on a real time okay like how i'll do basically how you can jam the wi-fi like how you can uh, attack wi-fi networks uh, using this module so i hope you like this video so try to do it okay it is very pretty simple and also why the reason why i'm covering this tool is like there are so many uh, hacking tools but most of them are like pretty costly but this thing like you can get it done like below five dollars so i think everyone can afford this thing and also it is like a cool tool that you can add to your toolkit so if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share and we are on road to 10k like we are really near to the 10k so share with your friends who are really interested in these sort of stuff this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you